welcome to the project demonstration of pv system fuzzy logic mbpt method and pa control as charge controller so in this project we are going to implementing the pa controlling with the help of pic microcontroller we developed the program to provide the pulse uh, signals to this bug boost converter along with mosfet to maintain the maximum power point tracking system purpose so the proportional integration pi controller was programmed in embedded c language so the main purpose of this system is so whenever we are providing the solar uh, power source to charge a battery then we need to control the two things one is whenever the voltage was crosses the 14.5 volts though we are using 12 volt 5 watt solar panel so it can provide up to maximum of 18 volts so in order to maintain the 5 watts power so whenever the voltage was increases then automatically the current decreases so there we get the power but which is the loss is going to be uh, will uh, not useful to charge our battery because we need to provide 14.5 volts maximum voltage to charge our 12 volt battery so here we are using 12 volt 3 amp battery so we can see 3 battery packs are connected in parallel so we will get 12 volt 3 amps each battery pack consists of 4 volt 1 amp are connected in series with another 2 so that four, 3 4 volt 1 amp batteries are in series so we will get 12 volt 1 amp and remaining uh, are parallel so we will get 12 volt 3 amps so here once the bat, uh, the source providing the voltage so it was given to our charging circuit so here the charging circuit purpose is it has a two sections one is a rectification so the we are providing dc power source so but if we connect this in reverse bias in reverse connection so reverse polarity so this db107 will uh, convert that polarity character so means if we connect the plus to minus or minus to plus so this will rectify that and provide as the plus to plus minus to minus and this capacitor just in order to uh, remove the pulses if is there any ripple generated after the rectification after these two diodes so the diode purpose is unidirectional current flow purpose so it will block the current from the charging circuits uh, remaining like mbpt as well as bug boost converter so it will block the current flow from there to the solar panel in order to protect the charging circuits so now now so we are putting solar panel we need to connect the s to the s over here so once the DC power source is 12 volts uh, given over here one. So then from there to the, as we discussed, rectifier and filter and from there to the MPPT circuit. And parallelly we can see this, this is a voltage uh, uh, sensor. So here we are using potential divider to measure the voltage up to 50 volts. So this DC voltage given to this potential divider 10 is to 1 ratio. So in our microcontroller we program that to make the voltage into 10 times multiple as we have divided that over here. So that will be displayed on the LCD screen first task based on that input voltage if it is above 14.5 so the microcontroller will control that voltage by providing the less duty cycle that will be displayed on the LCD. So next the output uh, from this MPPT circuit will be given as input to this bug boost converter. So whenever it is if it is above again 14.5 after the MPPT also it will bug that operation most probably it won't it won't uh, happen and whenever the below if it is below 12.5 volts and above 8.5 volts then we need to boost up that to make it as a 14.5 volts. So that output was given to the again microcontroller to make it as a closed loop at A0 A1 pins series uh, like continuous respectively that voltage will be display, displayed on the LCD screen as well as that is nothing but the battery voltage and also we are going to provide the MPPT output voltage displayed on the LCD so on the LCD screen we are going to display the solar voltage battery voltage and the MPPT duty cycle as well as the uh, MPPT output voltages so these four will be displayed on the 16 by 2 LCD screen so we are providing one more thing uh, if is there a there is no sunlight available from the solar panel then we need to charge a battery so that is with the help of our transformer just by providing the 230 volts AC input to this transformer the battery will get charged so this is a charging indication on this LED so it will be fully charged in a duration of 8 to 10 hours after that you can disconnect the power supply to the transformer so this is the proposed block diagram of our project so here so solar panel to the solar panel and after that parallelly we are giving that to the this is the bug boost converter so I combined the both in one circuit so bug boost converter 
and the next fuzzy logic MPPT. So the main purpose of this fuzzy logic is, as you know that there are two logics in embedded systems. One is the fuzzy logic, another the boolean logic. Boolean is zero and one directly, but there is no analog signal. Coming to the analog signal generation from the microcontroller by using the PWM signals. So that is coming under the fuzzy logic that will implement with proportion integration controlling circuitry inside the PIC microcontroller. That was signals given to the our MOSFET IRF 540. We are using that MPPT purpose. So here PWM generation from the microcontroller, same PWM generation from this microcontroller. So these two are presenting in one circuit and fuzzy logic MPPT for the MOSFET and the battery was 12 volt 3 amps and PA controller inside this PIC microcontroller and LCD display. So this is not part of the project just for safety to charge a battery when it is discharged. So we are going to make use of this transformer and directly for load presentation we are going to use 12 volt 3 watts LED indication as a load presentation. This is the main on off for the load and here is the on off for the whole circuitry. So while we place this solar panel under the full sunlight so the voltage will be generated and we can monitor continuously on the LCD screen. So, so when we switch on the card, okay, the welcome message will be displayed on the LCD screen. After that, so due to this low lighting, so we are getting a bit voltage and then so the, the voltage is not sufficient to convert that MPPT concept. So duty cycle is little bit increasing. So it will be from 0 to 255 maximum as we are using 8 bit PWM signals from our PIC microcontroller. So this is the battery voltage, solar voltage SV and the output from the MPPT voltage as of no voltage over here. So that will be showing 0 volts and battery voltage is 12.2 volts and the duty signal was showing over here. Right. So it is continuously monitoring on the LCD screen. So coming to the bug boost convert operation. So whenever the, if you want to do the bug operation, when the uh, voltage is above 14.5 again, so this MOSFET is used to control the output voltage to reduce that to the uh, below the 14.5 volts. And this MOSFET is getting signals from the microcontroller in order to boost up the voltage. As we are using this transformer as an inductor to charging and discharging purpose. So here you can see that. So the transformer consists of copper coils. The secondary was disconnected and primary coil directly using as uh, charging and discharging purpose as an inductor and these are the capacitors. So these two will be charging and discharging in order to provide the maximum current with the sufficient voltage for the battery charging section. The output from this was given directly to the battery and our battery voltage sensor here we are using the same 10 is to 1 ratio battery voltage sensor.